This is exactly right. I'm Barbara Gray, and you gotta fuck a lot of Ray J's to find your Kanye. <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and my favorite part in Love Actually is when Hugh Grant starts World War III because of a crush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and if you can't handle me on my coffee, you don't deserve me on my weed. And this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. Hello! We got Barbara Brandy and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies. Ladies and ladies. From the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, everyone. Very special remote edition. Mm-hmm. Top secret location in Palm Desert. Yeah. We actually even don't know where we are. Yeah, we no, literally really. we don't know. We drove we... in under the cover of darkness. <laughs> yeah. So far, we've only left one, twice. Once for a strip mall mm-hmm. nearby. Yes. And last night, a very um, fruitful and delightful, literally fruitful yeah. trip. Yeah. To an IHOP down the road. Yeah. Fruit compote fruit compote full. Mm-hmm. Fruit yes, compote full. exactly. Because you're not getting fresh fruit at <laughs> no. IHOP. Oh. Especially not at five in the morning. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we um we're here we're on a writing retreat working on some stuff. So, you know, it's just been mm-hmm. A weekend. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this weekend? <laughs> I, I feel blast. good. I feel. I feel like we got a lot. We done. got a lot of. Yeah, shit done. we did a lot of stuff. You guys, just wait, lady, lady, it's gonna blow your mind. Just you wait. I think that said, teens are a year. It's our year. Um, that said, I feel like it was uh, like it really was like a weird. Whenever I do something like like a writing retreat weekend like this, it mm-hmm. really like it fucks up your sense of time. Yeah. Yeah. And self, like mm-hmm. you just feel like so weird and out of it. Yeah, like I don't really understand how many days have passed. Exactly. It's cool yeah. though. It's a really cool feeling to mm-hmm. just be kind of like, I don't know, tucked away. To be kind of like immune from like mankind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Especially because this whole place we're in feels deserted. Yeah. There's like wind blowing everywhere. Yeah. The only person we've talked to besides each other is an IHOP waitress. Who seemed yeah. to have a real hard time at work. Yeah, yeah. she was having a real... <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey if, you, if you ditch on your waitresses... Yeah, fuck, fuck you. you. Fuck Obviously. you. Yeah, just don't do it. Our poor little yeah, she was telling waitress. us about how some she was like trying to like prevent some people from dining and dashing. Yeah, poor woman, like, it's you know, I mean, she has the graveyard shift at IHOP. I mean, that's got to be like essentially the same thing as being like a warden at a jail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good lord, be super difficult. Yeah, yeah, she was like battening down the hatches of pulling like baby uh, chairs like in front of the doors so people wouldn't ditch on the other side of the restaurant. That said, we did find out as we were leaving that she just finished nursing school. So very yes. happy for her. She yeah, like she's, she's getting out of there. Yes. yes. Oh, really good about it <laughs> but really good we really got a lot of it would be really that. funny if like when she was a nurse she was always like may i recommend the bonbon pancakes to fix your flu <laughs> or like <laughs> yeah. she keeps getting it mixed up you guys yeah. <laughs> hello I, I mean yeah did you ask for a scalpel because i brought a rudy tooty fresh and fruity <laughs> yeah, yeah, i don't want that <laughs> do they still have the rudy tooty fresh and fruity yeah they did it was a pancake option at one of the pancake what is, options what is the rudy tooty, the rudy tooty fresh, fresh and fruity is two <laughs> eggs two bacon and two pancakes. Yeah, and but with like some fruit on top. Oh, I was yeah. like, where's the fruit fresh? <laughs> I think the fresh and the fruity part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's actually pretty low on fresh and fruity and the ready to fresh and fruity. Yeah. Um. There's not that much fresh and fruity. There's way too much Rudy Tootie on there's the There's a lot of Rudy Tootie. <laughs> Who's Rudy Tootie? Is Cliff. that named after? Um, well, Cliff used to like it. He would go put on his his like Groucho Marx mask. Cliff. On. Who's Cliff? From Cheers. You guys don't know Cliff from IHOP? No. No. <laughs> no. What? Are you guys kidding me? No, I don't know who Cliff from this IHOP is. This is Cliff weird. here from IHOP. It was a very famous commercial when we were kids. Cliff. Google Cliff from IHOP. He, and he <laughs> yeah. would go and he would order the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity and then he would put on the Groucho Marx mask and eat the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity. Why? What did uh, he put on the mask? He, that was just like, he was like their Is he just a goofball? 
Cliff, yeah. He, I, for some reason, Cliff was always just eating breakfast by himself, and he was always in a good mood about oh. it. He loved Cliff that. Cliff is, is, is in a bad way. Cliff. Cliff oh, what <laughs> happened to Cliff? Oh, I don't know. I just oh. feel like if he's like eating at IHOP <laughs> all the time by himself, like Cliff is like yeah, mid, like, crisis dad. <laughs> eating at IHOP yeah. alone is especially depressing. You yeah. know, I've had some good experiences eating at IHOP alone. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. <laughs> you don't want you don't want to constantly be just there by yourself. Trying to find your Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you found it's, a good IHOP, it's a, it's that's true. If you were like, just, it was just like your regular breakfast spot. Yeah, yeah. I frankly, God. You know, I, I would rather eat at IHOP every day than at one of those like hip, overpriced diners. I mean, depends yeah. on the food. Yeah. The food at IHOP is horrible. They do have. Is real it? I think I'm just always drunk when I'm there. I just like yeah. I can't. I, I can't get like yeah most of the stuff there. They do have real eggs. I think. So I like that. Yeah, that's good. That's key. Yeah, they're not like the powdered eggs. Yeah, fuck that. I wish powdered eggs, I'd never heard that phrase. (laughs) That's disgusting. (laughs) They're the worst. Oh, God. They made vegan eggs. Our our friend, listener, Mm -hmm. Jessica, Mm -hmm. works for the company that just, uh, I don't know (laughs) if I'm giving away too much, but I'm interested to try those. I don't know. I'll try that. I have, um, like, they've had some pretty good, Trader Joe's is like a vegan egg salad. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. That doesn't exist. Just like yes, it is. To- it's just tofu, right? That they it's just like tofu, I think. Stuff in. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. like I like uh I like vegan scrambles with tofu. Yeah, just a lot fuck of yes. Of I'm ready for stuff. like I'm ready to turn vegan in ten years when I can get when I'm I I'm ready when to I turn have to vegan <laughs> in ten years. <laughs> when I have absolutely <laughs> nothing I really have to change about myself <laughs> when it's all already adapted for put me. It on, put it on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So like once it's once it's caught up. Okay, what do you guys think about this? I guess they are doing something where They've started to genetically make, like they're f- they're making meat parts, but just the parts in a lab. Okay. So they're making like just. So they're just making like chicken wings. So it by doesn't themselves. actually come from an animal technically because it's yeah. just. That's good, I guess. Right? Well, yeah, you're, you're not killing you any animals. Yeah, I was thinking. Like, that, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah. I guess I I would think it would be more more ethical to eat that i mean it sounds yeah. creepy as fuck but right? it makes yeah. more sense i mean but it's, yeah you're not killing any animals i, don't I guess know that scientist <laughs> <Yeah>. just growing <laughs> these ham hocks <laughs> like yeah. go into the ham hock factory yeah just a bunch of like a la carte ham hocks that's really i guess that's good though i mean that is what's gonna happen no, i, I mean, think that's, that's, that's what, what that's i mean that might happen more but it's much better for the environment than yeah, yeah and then like if we could get rid of industrial farms which i don't th- i mean a con i don't know how that would happen with all those companies but yeah i mean eventually I a while about this but well, yeah industrial yeah. farming is very uh or of, of meat is really bad for the environment yeah it would be yeah. i mean man that would be amazing if that could happen right? yeah I, I think that is the future like i think that we're just gonna ha- be f- yeah essentially making meat in a lab well we're gonna mm. be like it's gonna be fucking star trek you order a thing and it just uh, it materializes in your yeah. microwave or whatever. i still What's won't eat that though even yeah, yeah. Meat is you want real food lab, yeah i won't eat that but they're gonna get to a point where like i think it's like almost the exact same as real food no, but I guess I won't eat it because to me, I still think of it as Oh, meat. no. I meant like veget- veggies and stuff Oh, like yeah. That. I'll, yeah, you yeah. can make me some space veggies. I'll no, eat yeah. You still don't yeah, want yeah. meat. Like, it's I still, still don't want meat. Yeah. Like, it's a good thing not to want. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't eat that much meat, but like, I would like to be a vegetarian, but I just really want a burger every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't say. I, see, I don't know if, if that goes away eventually forever. I think it does. Like, because I stopped eating meat when I was so young. Like, when mm-hmm. people, I'm like, yeah, I, I never want it because I was so young when I ate, ate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it's like or for people who like give up meat later in life. Mm-hmm. Like, I think eventually, yeah, your I brain mean, just does do that switch. Like, textures change to you too. Like, that would, I think, would mm-hmm. probably be the thing that if you stayed away from it for a while and you came back, you'd be like, oh, this tastes really tastes like murder <laughs> like, I think, I think yeah like if you didn't eat for a long time you could probably feel that yeah like something switches in your brain and mm-hmm. you just stop thinking of it as food like it's not at all tempting to you yeah yeah oh well, i get that yeah i am hl well i get that but i think it's almost even like you know i guess it's the same thing with with sugar and shit like that like if i don't eat yeah yeah your taste buds like change and you're yeah. just like adapted to not doing it <laughs> sugar mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember that joyous week where we tried to do that? <laughs> I made it like 14 I'm days. so addicted to sugar. It's so awful. Do you think... Okay, what are your... Okay, top three addictions. Oh, God. I mean, sugar. food in general, sugar. but sugar. Sugar number one. Sugar number Without one. Without a doubt. Sugar, like, including, like, bread and, like... Yeah. 
and sweets or whatever. I sweets even further up. I yeah. Real sweet too, if it's a problem. Um, um, sugar. Uh, I've cut. I mean, a lot of my other vices aren't as bad as they used to be. Is that the only thing you think you're addicted to? Yeah. I definitely. My number one is caffeine. Mm-hmm. Number two is weed. Um. I guess exercise I'm somewhat addicted to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But no, not as much as like, like caffeine is like, I can't, it literally can't live without it. Right. Yeah. I think sugar is basically mine. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think sugar and then like, I mean, <laughs> performing <laughs> the, st- the stage. <laughs> I'm addicted to the stage. <laughs> um, we should talk about our friend. I don't know where he is. He's been gone for a while. Oh, yeah. So we met a kitty. Yeah. And we're trying to decide if we need to take him back to L.A. Yeah. We can't decide because he seems like he's a stray. I mean, he's yeah. not like too fucked up or anything, but he has balls. He has yeah. balls. That makes me think he's for sure a stray. He's got yeah. balls with no collar. He's very friendly. I got this little like one-year-old black kitty cat that is coming into our Yeah. He's our very Airbnb. nice. I we love him. He's really I like sweet. Him. We What's didn't see him all weekend, and then he just appeared today. He like, just appeared cool. after all of our hard work and yeah, toil. He was our gift. Yeah, I like that. I think he's magical. And like, you know, you, kitties are usually like they take a minute, but he just he has that dog quality of like what? Yeah, is that? he was just like, hey, yeah. What's up, guys? I don't know where he went. Kitty. He disappeared as quickly as he came into yeah. my house. Oh, jeez. It we'll never happened. I'll we'll see. We have photos to prove it. Do you remember <laughs> that other time we found a cat in the parking lot of, of Silver Lake Lounge? Silver Lake Lounge. Yeah. And then I, ha- I had to find someone for him. Um, mm. That's all. That story was. How long did you have that kitty? I think like a week or something. Kitty. Yeah. Man, there's nothing worse than like, Barbara, you just had it the other day when you see a stray dog and you try to catch it and uh. it, like you can't get it. Yeah, I, I like saw spent. one when I was walking yesterday. It yeah. just like ran away. I spent so many hours of my life trying to like corner stray dogs. Me too. To be like, oh, oh yeah, hey. I've, yeah, me and my friend in Salt Lake, that used to be like our thing. We would just like pick up dogs and find where they lived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a great, that's a great teen hobby. Yeah. Why that. not? Yeah. Teens, if you Big need teens. a hobby, there's a hobby I could do. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking, yeah, I actually realized that I like had, was kind of spiraling out of control with dogs because I was on my way to go pick up Bianca, my foster from the pound. Mm -hmm. And I saw on that Facebook group, uh, that there was a girl who was trying to get a stray dog and she Uh needed a car to pick her up. Mm -hmm. So on my way to go get a different dog, I met up with this girl who I didn't know in Highland park. And I was like with this, you're getting, this is your addiction. You got it. So I was like, stop. I I had a moment where I was like, this is, yeah, this is too much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Just stared into the face of your dog addiction. And said, "This is yeah." Rough. Tessa's heart is too big. You can't. <laughs> I know. I just. It's if, hard. Yeah. Well, of I course, just, you want to save them all. Yeah. You and know. Like, yeah. You know. Think of the puppies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I just I, I understand animals. Like I just get I can I can like communicate with them. You know. Mm-hmm. So you know it's it's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're the best. The best. I have a very symbiotic relationship with my dog that oh, like, I never, I will never have with a human being. Mm-hmm. Best. Love my little guy. Bing but do you think a lot of it is just like because they can't talk, no. right? Oh, that you have a that kind. Well, of I mean, it's like they them? can't judge you. They can't say anything because they can't fucking talk. Yeah, that's like a nonverbal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think they communicate. We think of they the, definitely communicate. Yeah. You know. I, I yeah, think yeah. that we we have a very narrow definition of like yeah communicate. They're totally communicating with us. Right. They right. just obviously don't you know, yeah. speak the same way we do. Maybe because words aren't involved, it's like. I mean, think that's why it's so special. It's yeah. like exactly you know yeah. more than words, guys. It's like what's that movie? Oh my god, with Holly, uh, the, the piano where she's mute. What? The uh, the one with Al Pacino? No. What am I thinking of? What's the movie with Scarface? Me? That's not Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. It's a dog. Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> I got this chihuahua. Say hello to my <laughs> little friend. <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if Al Pacino played Mario. That would, and then who would that, be Luigi? Where's the princess? <laughs> the fuck, find me the princess. Yeah, who Sharon play? Stone is the princess. My jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> who would play Luigi? Um, Luigi? Probably John Turturro? 
Bobby yes. De Niro. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bobby, Bobby De Niro. De Niro. Luigi. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Mario. Wait, I don't think Mario. this is the first time we have fantasy casted Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> We've definitely fantasy casted We've talked it about it. We talked. I have something. I would happened. like to make that movie, but like not give them a script and be like, improvise it. You guys. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what you think this is about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a pipe. Here's a set. You guys figure it out. <laughs> I mean, because really, what is Holy what shit, is the other world? What is the warp zone? Well, because this is the thing. If you tried it, because really, what is what the other world? Because this is the thing. If you actually try to script a Mario Brothers movie, then you get the one that we got with which uh, I like. Do you? Yeah. I, I mean, I haven't it. watched it for years, but I enjoyed it. It's like, I'm interested in seeing it. It's it's very. Bob Hoskins. Hey, there he is. I mean, Should Bob, we name? Him? Yeah, we probably have to. That's right. One of my questions. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Oh. Oh, I was gonna put Barbara on the spot and make her name the cat of the podcast. Oh, <laughs> I can't, I can't. Start thinking about it now. Start thinking okay. about it now. Yeah. We'll get to it later. Kitty, <laughs> oh. Bob oh, Hoskins is good. Enough. I have like, a, yeah, mm-hmm. Bob Hoskins. Who else was in that one? He's Mario. Yeah, he yeah, plays he Mario. Mario. Is very bizarre. Bizarre. John Leguizamo is Luigi. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh yeah, how hot is John Leguizamo? N- not at all. Oh really? <laughs> no. Are you serious? Oh my god, he's so hot. I like him in um uh is it City of the Dead that like evil I think so yeah yeah Dawn of the Dead remake I like that I like him in that one a lot he's pretty awesome I just like he's one of those guys that like his androgyny really I find very sexy mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I'm not I just remember <laughs> he's not androgynous or like in Tuong Wong Fu or Tu-Wong like when Fu. he's done yeah but they're all hot in Tuong Wong Fu like I I don't yeah. he doesn't exactly. he does not come across as androgynous to me. He's I, got a kind of a feminine quality to him. Yeah. I just always think about him as the the clown from Spawn. And that kind of ruins him. <laughs> yeah. <life. laughs> oh, I haven't seen Spawn. <laughs> oh, if you, it's if funny, you think he's attractive, don't say It's him. funny right. when you like, yeah, you like associate this one thing with an actor. Yeah. And yeah. It's forever. Well, it's yeah. like we found out this weekend, Tess hates Laura Linney. Oh, so. God. Hate her. <laughs> Cannot stand her. Did that start? <laughs> Sorry, Laura Linney. Is it one specific role that ruined it for yeah. you? Well, or? this is really uncomfortable because she came down here to be on the show today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Barbara. Okay, the I really can't handle <laughs> you trying to make me feel guilty <laughs> about not liking Laura Linney. <laughs> that is good. That is a very I good. I do yell at her every year in Love Actually. Like I do. Oh gosh, I yell she's at her so, so awful in that movie. That's what I'm thinking of her in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yell at her constantly in that. It's movie. really annoying. Yeah. That's, yeah. That particular plot. Just might fuck be my least favorite. the hot guy. Leave your brother alone. <laughs> that's not what should happen. Well, no, but like you could li- you, like have your own, your give own, some time for yourself. Yeah, have a, your own life separately from your brother who like. It tries to hit you <laughs> yeah and also like it, nothing's happening when you go see him he's oh, not like yeah. on his deathbed he's just there so at least I even remember put your phone on mute like... and fuck him yeah. she yeah. is she has like the really hot co-worker who she's like in love with oh yes and yes, they yes. finally start hooking up and her brother there's somebody from calls and her brother's like hey come here so i can hit you that's right <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. that's basically what happens <laughs> Me and my two friends in college, we used to like, we used to just like fake, do that fake hit all the time. Yeah. Why it was so funny. It's a very specific like (laughs) fake hit because he like, it's like fist out, like, oh, like, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) It's what Laura Linney deserves. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. (laughs) That was Tess Barker. (laughs) (laughs) It's a fake hit. I don't, yeah, it's a fake hit. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but 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 I do. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? How we just like I just think it's funny that we like hate certain people. Like yeah. you know what I mean, actors and actresses well, so much. I yeah. think it's like an extension of how just some people in life just rub you the wrong way. Of course, and you can't really mm-hmm. put a finger on why. And it's oh, easy yeah. with a celebrity because it's like, well, I don't know you, so fuck you. Like I don't ever yeah. have to deal with you. So you can say out loud, I yeah. don't like Laura Linney. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. <laughs> But like just, somebody you work with, you know, you, I guess you can say it in secret, but yeah. yeah. But people are going to question it and they're going to be like, why? And you're going to be like, I just don't like their face. Like, I just don't yeah. like them. Yeah. yeah. I will say my, my hunches are 99% right on people too. That's what I think it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 I'm just like, ah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty much always right. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I err on the side of, of, I miss a couple, a couple yeah. get past the filter. I'm also We're like very open and like, you're very you're very like nice and optimistic with people. Yeah. I'm a much more, I'm the same way. And also I just like, I have a pretty high, th- I, I don't know you, uh, you know, there are yeah. assholes out there, but like, unless you do something really horrible, I'm uh, you yeah. know, like going to disregard you probably. Yeah, yeah. I have a pretty low threshold. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, mm, yeah. you get a pass a if, unless you're like really being a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about how it's weird that we have to like see movies with people who we know in them. 
You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How like it's like oh yeah. Obviously, well, you watch like independent films, but unless you like know the actor, you feel like yeah. people just it's, don't see them. You know? Yeah. I think it's almost. I wonder if it's just like a. It's a just, psychological thing where it's easier for us to attach to the character if our brain already knows sort of like what to expect because then we mm-hmm. can kind of just focus on the story. So I think something like that. But it yeah, is just yeah. funny, right? That we're that like... That is weird. Yeah, that we like... If it's a person, a stranger, we're like, I don't... Like, I have, no, least, I have no interest in this. Follow or, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. At first, at least, or... Yeah, it's really weird mm-hmm. that, that we're just weird. like, hey, we know these 50 people and those 50 people get to keep doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but like well yeah i was gonna say i guess even like stage actors it's kind of the same way like it's hard to get a show off the ground unless you're like a name yeah it has to yeah. be a name and i guess well, i think it's a trust thing you know that they're gonna thing. perform yeah, well that's definitely, especially if you know in a play because plays are so expensive mm-hmm. but then a play a play is different too because a play does I've seen, you know, Street Card Name Desire maybe four yeah. times. Or I've seen, you know, like it's, there are shows that you know you like. And mm-hmm. what's interesting is actually the opposite seeing of the a movie different seeing the different actor. actors do yeah. it. Well, and that, I guess in that case, the character is the thing that you know, probably, right? Like, or the work. Yeah. Yeah. The, the work. The show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's familiar about it. But yeah. But, I do think it's funny though. Cause it's like, if you see a poster, if you see a movie poster with no one you know on it, you're like. I don't give. Well, yeah. I don't care. Why would I yeah, care? like, why would I see this? Is that even if it's a great concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> um, all right, okay. but if Will Smith is in it, how do you become famous? How does that happen? <laughs> how do how be famous? How be famous? How be we can be, how be famous? famous? I just keep looking. Right, there's uh, um, Home Shopping Night or whatever playing right behind oh, Barbara, shit. and there's it just like a so giant. Good. No, this is the Chew. Spe- oh, okay. Well, speaking of famous, <laughs> it's just like Mario Mario Vitali's big face and he, they oh keep showing big close-ups of him in his sweater vest oh yeah this or is his, a uh, weird face this is making me vest. so excited for holiday foods i know yeah <laughs> oh i know God. oh yeah merry, like Christ- cheese ball. merry christmas yeah. in a few days everybody oh, yeah, by the way yes. are you guys traveling right now listen yes. Bla- wait insert your answer now yeah one two, talk to three, no one right now are you traveling how's your christmas ho 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 <laughs> <laughs> um i think we okay well you we're gonna you answer that ball. brb <laughs> all right gang we're back okay hi everybody i'm tess barker i'm barbara gray i'm brandy posey and we're here with our guest black kitty cat black <laughs> kitty where is black kitty i think he's wandering on outside oh my god <laughs> all right let's talk about what we're gonna name oh First, we, let's plug. We got stuff. some business yeah. to we take right. care of. A couple of things. Um, we'll name the kitty. <laughs> uh, I am going to be doing a show in Washington D.C. on December 26th at the Songbird Cafe. Um, come to that. I'm I'm producing that whole thing, and I want to meet a bunch of fans. So I'm doing it with Ooh. a bunch of comics from New York and L.A. It's going to be good. Um, all that's on my Facebook and my website. Um, and then on uh, the 28th, I will be in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, at the Eagles Lodge. There, doing a uh, an hour. So oh, wow. come to that show. That's How far really is that fun. from Philly? It's maybe like two hours from Philly. Mm. It's in, it's a really cool town in like the middle of uh, nowhere. <laughs> it's like near State College. Uh, it's really close to State College. And um, it's like the last time that I did a show there, I did like an hour there a couple years ago. And it was a total blast. The crowd was really fun. But then we like walked outside afterwards and there was like four people sitting on rascal scooters eating subway fo- footlongs at like 1230 at night. What the Sounds fuck? Delightful. I was like, what is this coven of witches? Whoa. It was, it was real, it was real fun. It was a real, real, real fun time. So, uh, yeah, come to those shows, 26th and 28th, DC and Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Um, and then, oh, also, um, we're doing a thing right now, a Planned oh, Parenthood yeah. thing, which is awesome. So Planned Parenthood's had a really rough year this year. Yep. And we wanted to do something to give back. So um, we actually recorded a special exclusive episode of Lady to Lady um, where we're doing the commentary to... Um, yeah, it's, it's like a commentary track that you can play along yes. with the movie. Sort of like how you can play Dark Side of the Moon yeah. with uh, Wizard of Oz. You can now you can watch us. Channing Tatum's <laughs> hot ass and yes. listen to us talk about it. So. And listen to our cackle yeah. multiple yeah. times yeah, exactly. <laughs> while watching Magic Mike. So if you donate $10 or more to Planned Parenthood, uh, forward the receipt email to lady to lady at maximumfun.org and we will send you a link to that exclusive episode. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be really fun. We're recording it with Alan Strickland-Williams, who's mm-hmm. never seen it. I can't wait. Yeah. Very funny comic. It's and uh, super good. Yeah, so 10 bucks or more by December 31st. Yes. And um, for... 
For every dollar that you donate, Planned Parenthood is actually doubling it from now to the end of the year as well. Yeah, so, so. double double D's, baby. Yeah. Hey. Get those double D's in. Yeah. Well, I want to say I have a show January 7th, Thursday, a uh, noble experiment at Open Space Theater. Mm-hmm. I don't know the address, but yeah, Thursday, January 7th. Come to it. It'll Los be Angeles. weird. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a Christmas episode, so we won't talk about this for a long time, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, fuck James Dean. Um, yes. We're obviously discontinuing the segment um, because oh, yeah. we, it's been uh, a while since we recorded, but since, yeah, we were sort of on hiatus when that happened. Yeah. Um, we do officially want to say, of course, that we uh, certainly believe all the yeah. women who are making accusations against him and we will not be uh, condoning him or anything yeah. he does on this podcast anymore. Yeah. So fuck him. Yeah. Uh, fuck him. He's worse. And that's anyway. That. So, what are we naming the kitty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> so, okay. It was like it's like I don't know. It was it was windy last night. It was windy last night. It's a little black cat with yellow eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's friendly. He's got balls. He's, got He's balls. friendly. But we'd cut off his balls. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. It's I know. part of his personality for the moment. Right now. Is that he has balls. <laughs> I mean, that's a big moment. It if is you, pretty you big. Tesla. I would Tesla. say, I think this was my first time seeing kitty balls and they're really cute. Yeah, they're <laughs> cute. They're like Aww. little full, fur covered. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like cats probably actually like getting fixed because they're so finicky that they're just like, oh, this is disgusting. Get yeah, that's right. true. Because sure. they clean, they're cleaning themselves all the time. Yeah, yeah they're like, that's like, less for them to. Just like less to deal with. Like, <laughs> like, well, you know, my, my boyfriend has one nut and I love it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even talk about, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I know, Wait, I is this, like, I'm so used to it. Like I, right. now that I have one nut to deal yeah. with, I wouldn't, don't think I'd go back to two. No. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have zero personally. I mean, I like a nut. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nut. <laughs> I like having on it. I yeah. don't, I never minded balls, but you know, two of them is, qu- is quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. It's quite yeah. a bit to deal with. They're but taking away know, all the, balls. they're taking away the glory. They're taking away the glory, but like they give you something else. Like it's like something else. I guess. Yeah. 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 You know, I get it. Cool if we evolve down to one ball, I feel like everyone would be a lot more chill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take some of that. Nice. Yeah, take Get some on it, testosterone scientists. down. <laughs> I don't know how evolution. Works. I forgot to say I got my. I went and got a wax for the first time ever. Brazilian. Yes, you love it. How'd it go? It was good. It was so weird. It was like this little Russian lady, mm-hmm. and like you know how you. Where do you expect to show up for like a wax? Like a strip mall. Yeah, like yeah. a strip mall yeah. is what I'm thinking where sure. it's going to be. Yeah, it's yeah. in like a medical building where like you would go to your dentist. Are you really? serious? Yeah, like that's what it what, like the building was. They put a lollipop in your pussy afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably need one. I asked yeah. for it. Um, yeah. No, but yeah. So it was like this little, I like walk in and she's wearing like a little green smock and she's just like sitting there waiting for me. That's better though. I want someone with like medical precision. Yeah. I get, I mean, she was great. Uh, yeah, she was just like, she was like, make you look like a five-year-old down there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she said that? She said that. Oh, that? shit. I love her. <laughs> she was great. She was awesome. That's I was hilarious. like, I just walked into the room and I was like, she was like, okay. And I was like, I don't, I've never done this. She was like, oh, get naked. <laughs> <laughs> just you and me. And I was like, okay. Oh, so I just hilarious. like stripped down and then. <laughs> yeah it hurts like fuck huh yeah it hurt a lot but isn't sex great after yeah i mean it, it was really i don't think i'd do it again though it wasn't worth the pain to me oh really yeah yeah i the only thing that keeps me from doing it all the time is the cost i love brazilian bikini waxes mm. i just yeah it was it was intense it was just like i don't know it's just a weird in there. feeling to be completely hairless like even if you like shave or whatever there's some mm. hair but this gets well like, especially because like, i'd really been like all right well i better let this go for this wax yeah, so it was like yeah. full-on like winter time you know <laughs> Your winter tra- coat? yeah my winter coat had grown in <laughs> last time i got a brazilian was around christmas actually too and i remember i had like my leg up over my head because they get in like inner Labe. like yeah. it is like very no they detailed. really get in there so it was like, it started tickling and i was like get, there's laughing. so many weird feelings. like i remember at one point like they get the chick like put my hand like on my clit and was like hold this and like she stretches out your labia and just like really goes for it <laughs> this is the one that blew inside of you no that was okay. different but uh i remember i was like i had my leg up and she goes and i was wearing christmas socks and like nothing mm-hmm. else and she was like wow you really are into christmas <laughs> she was waxing my pussy oh my god <laughs> i hope that she saw something uh, like down there like, that she do associated I any, like, do i have like a jingle bell clip that i don't know about? <laughs> That's hilarious. oh god oh anyway god. i don't know what made me think of that but i had to well i'm I happy I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you didn't uh, no it was I'm fine sorry. i just was like you know i get it yeah. now i did yeah. it i don't I think, think i would keep I think, doing yeah, it yeah i love those 
Um, do you tip that person? I don't mm-hmm. know. I didn't know what, what to do because she, she seemed totally she tipped. seemed like she, I t- I tipped her, but she okay. like seemed like she didn't. I don't know. She so didn't like make it that happen. You basically tip all of the people that do your beauty stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I just yeah. like anybody who has to deal with like your your body, your, your body. If shit. you have to touch my body, I'm gonna give you money. I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. I always yeah. like I always assume as much. But I always hate, like, if you like, get a facial or something, and you're like, I just spent a lot of money on a facial. Like, well, yeah, and, like, haircuts and shit, they're this? really expensive. So you're yeah. like, well, I'm already paying you. Yeah. I mean, I tip every time, but it yeah, is, yeah, too. I'm not really sure. Me too. It's always what hard. the deal is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I always just tip. Um, I think, I think there is, like, a rule of thumb thing of if it's the owner of the salon. Mm hmm. The the etiquette is that you don't have to tip. If you, if any of you own a salon, feel free. Yeah. Right. I think if you own a salon, the etiquette is that you don't have to tip because all the money is going to them. Like the owner, you um, don't have but to maybe. if it's someone who's just renting a chair at a salon, they're having to pay rent. Yeah, they have yeah. to pay rent. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. eh, I figure whatever. Yeah, if I I'm mean, throwing down on my hair, I'm throwing down on my hair. Yeah, I mean, I tip everybody anyway, but I'm always just like, is it weird that I'm giving you money? I assume it's right. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, but never say no. <laughs> yeah, I feel like with a. Uh, with like the advent of like credit card stuff, mm-hmm. I've been tipping like every all those iPad Square things. I hate that shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like fuck you. If you and like if you just literally poured me a cup of coffee, I'm not no. giving you a dollar for that. No, I mean it. Yeah, not every time. Like, no, if like if you if they if they, you know like, if it involves some shit, yeah. then yeah, if sure. You're making a drink, like yeah, a cappuccino or something. Yeah, Kitty's back. If uh, a coffee is always three dollars. It does not. I'm not going to give you four dollars. Like, I'm yeah, not gonna, I'm not going to pay twenty five percent extra every time. But then I feel like it. when I pay with my credit card, I feel like it's a dick move to write no tip. I know, but that's what they're trying care. to do. I, I I've just gotten used to doing it because now it's yeah. like I don't feel bad. Well, like yeah. my weed delivery place mm-hmm. uses that, and like if I'm buying a shitload of weed, mm-hmm. like I mean, do you want if so if you del- again I think delivering to your house I'll, I'll tip you of course yeah yeah so I want to tip them a little bit but it's like percentage so it's like if I order like two hundred bucks worth of weed from you I'm not tipping you forty bucks no, no. fuck that no. like also that's not even that's still not a lot of for them to carry you know it's at not all like, it's yeah. not like they're yeah like hefting weights around yeah it should be yeah. about the same tip as the guy who are, delivers pizza yeah actually the pizza guy has a harder job the pizza yeah. should come with the weed and the yeah exactly. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think, I think <laughs> most pizza delivery guys are probably carrying weed. Yeah, so yeah. Could double that up when is that going to start happening? I think next year. There needs to be weed restaurants. Yes. Like a sommelier. 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 Somali- <laughs> Somali- and, and like you have like a Somali- bong. <laughs> a sommelier. 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 With a fucking weed list and then yeah. the food. Like this blue dream pairs really nicely with this. And then like shirt. all of their reviews would be like out of this world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, that's it, probably happening in like Denver. I could see that. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. Well, isn't it? Is it still technically medical only in California, or is that? Changed? I have no idea. Uh, it's medical. Oh yeah, still only medical in California. Yeah. Although I guess my brother was telling me that it's going to be up for vote, and it seems like almost undeniable that it's going to be legalized for recreational because of the success yeah. in like Oregon and mm-hmm. and Colorado and whatnot. Yeah. Don't call it if you call it recreational, it makes me feel like I should be a rock climber or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, it does have like it does imply like <laughs> Yeah, like I'm not going outdoors when, when I use this. Oh I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I spilled my coffee. All right, what are we gonna name the cat? Okay. Yeah. So hmm. what? I mean I'm super cat? obsessed with Hamilton, so obviously my first go to is something oh. along the, those Lafayette? lines. Oh uh, Lafayette's a cute name. Um, but also it's like, well, I don't want to name it something I just like right now, you know, mm-hmm. but I think you'll like Hamilton. Well, I will. Like I will. That's very true. And I also kind of like when you like the cool thing about it is you always remember like when you, yeah, yeah. It's fun to name things when you're like in a phase of liking something. Cause yeah. you, uh, we'll yeah. always remember it. So Hamilton, who would be the Lafayette? That's kind Anthony of a long Rapp. name though. Anthony Rapp. <laughs> Anthony Cat. Anthony Cat. <laughs> cat. Cathany Rep. Cathany. I'm so glad that I did not have a cat named after him when we had him on the show. So I couldn't be like, and also. <laughs> Was that going to be a possibility? No. Oh. I'm saying thing that would have been <laughs> terrible. Um, Anthony Rap is a. Uh, <laughs> Anthony Rap. Cathany Rap. Cathany Rap. Mm. Lafayette. Burr. Um. Yeah. It's weird because it's like hist- it's not, yeah, it's like a historical figure. Yeah. <gasps> this is Aaron Burr, my cat. Oh, what yeah. about if you named him after Lynn Manuel? Lynn. I know. I kind of think about that. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Linny. 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 Linny.
<laughs> hey, Laura Linney. Linney? Laura, Laura Linney? A boy cat named Laura Linney. Oh, my God. I mean, uh, that's kind of my vote, I think. That's pretty great. <laughs> Linney. Linney's pretty good. Linney's pretty would have cute. a Laura Linney that she likes. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the first Laura Linney that I like. <laughs> yeah, I like Linney. And then, obviously, full name Laura Linney. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm glad. The full name Laura Linney Manuel. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's, an, that's an at midnight answer for nothing. <laughs> hey, at midnight. <laughs> All right. Well, Laura Lenny, where are you? <laughs> Just running around. Being a little sweetie. You have a name now. You've been named. That's so weird that like mm-hmm. I guess our I it's I guess our parents name us, but it's so weird to have the responsibility of like naming an animal. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a big commitment. Yeah. 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 Um, my dog Jack is named Jack because um, his full name is Michael Jackson Heart Attack Jr. Because I got him on the day that Michael Jackson died. Aww. I like found out at the shelter. The woman oh. was, yeah. That's, do you guys know that? That's how I found out. Like, Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah. The woman was like that was filling out his paperwork. I was super happy. She got a text and she burst into tears. And I was like, are you OK? What happened? She was like, oh, you haven't heard the news yet. Michael Jackson has died. And then she just like sobbed in front of me. Whoa. Oh, and I was she like, really liked Michael Jackson. Yeah. It's so crazy it when intense. people, when celebrities that are that big die because yeah. it's like everyone's like, like, yeah. you know, you're just like relating to strangers about. That yeah. was weird. I was in that a Barnes so and Noble weird. and I was on my way to go meet some friends for coffee and I just ordered my coffee and the barista said the Barnes and Noble told me. Yeah. And I remember all of us like in line were like, wait, like what? the Michael Jackson? Like yeah. they're sure he's No, a different one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like Michael Jackson, the barista who usually works here. Yeah. <laughs> so could you yeah. tip me? <laughs> Full circle. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny that thing, that instinct too, though, that everyone wants like to tell everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. To be everyone like person. wants to be the first one to tell everyone. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think that was so I funny. think you just don't want to be alone with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like big. Yeah. It's news. You want to like, like, hey, yeah. here's some info. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I liked it because of when he died there. So there's two Michael Jackson stars in the Hollywood Walk of Fame and like people were congregating at both of them and like a lot of people were just like at the wrong star. Oh, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah. So, wait, what's the wrong star? The other one is the, just... The other one's just like a record producer. It's just oh, it's, it's not, a different it's Michael Jackson. It's not the Michael Jackson. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, so there is a the Michael Jackson. Yeah, there is. A, yeah, there's the <laughs> and then there's A. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty common name. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Definitely. I just love the idea of like all these diehard fans like congregating at the wrong star. Being That's like, so funny. Is this not, is this, is and his one? ghost is like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when we did a thriller flash mob? Oh, yes. Yeah. I do. It was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. It was really bad. That's probably the worst stage fright I've ever had. I, I really? lost it. As soon as people were watching us, I just yeah, turned she, into a kid. And who, didn't like, like remember anything. No, <laughs> like all we practiced that dance. Rented a studio rented to a rehearse. Kid. Oh my god! <laughs> and mostly just ate Halloween candy and then rehearsed. And like I practiced that dance every day. Could you still pull it off? Do you still know it? Um, I, don't I know the beginning. I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah. when you march. The one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know. Actually, do know it? I yeah. don't remember it because I took a refresher class last Halloween. Oh right. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, when I the only time I've ever had jury duty was during the Michael Jackson doctor trial. Oh. And it was a blast because all the protesters were downstairs and they were all like wearing one sparkly glove in solidarity. <laughs> That's fucking That's amazing. amazing. Oh my crazy. god! I want to do something where I have a lot of people protesting. <laughs> yeah. So it well, I feel like that's very possible. Die in a um, you know, a, a mysterious way. <laughs> okay, but I don't have any like sparkly glove like you have a legacy. Hat. Yeah, could Marvel's yeah. fans just start wearing sparkly hats? Like that should be. Well, you need you need to start. You wearing need to wear one. it more. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. your brand and make it your thing. Shit. Well, I wanted yeah. to be the wig person for a while. I could try that. I, I like your natural hair. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm getting a wig made right now. You are. <laughs> yeah. Because I need to get. I need. I need more natural hair for fucking commercial auditions and i'm not gonna i don't want to dye my hair so I'm yeah gonna, uh, that's cool it's cool to have the option why not yeah fake hair is where it's at i don't yeah. feel like we Pretty take stoked. advantage of wigs enough at all oh no. no yeah anything that you can change may as well yeah 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not. why is it? It's like we change our clothes. Why is it weird yeah, to just, just like put yeah, on a different it's, hair? It's not part of your like. There's yeah. no nerve endings in it. It's just yeah, yeah. Hair just in general is fucking like it's so fucking weird that like women have long hair and like men have short hair and we like, think it's weird if guys have long hair and like it just like it's just so it's, it's yeah that's such a very bizarre weird thing that it's weird the evolution of how it slowly became more normal for women to have short hair and mm-hmm. guys to have long hair or mm-hmm. I'm sure like back in the day everyone just had long hair right? but like yeah. physically doesn't their hair just grow a lot like slower than our i mean i know eventually oh, it get long it i don't gets think long. so my ex-boyfriend's hair grew so much better than mine yeah like yeah. he was mexican but mm-hmm. yeah his hair grew a lot faster than mine hmm. and he oh. had long hair for a while he was mexican <laughs> well you know like if you're like latin or i guess like really thick hair yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense yeah i don't know it's weird it's just like such a weird thing that we have so much attached to like I always change my hair color and people are always like, oh, like people like won't recognize it's a, well, it. Well, it is a huge, I mean, it changes how you look. Like yeah. it's like a, you know, completely. Yeah. It's so weird. I've been getting like kind of sick of, I don't know. I thought I wanted to like maybe change my hair color. And then my hairstylist was like, oh my God, no. He was like, that's your thing. And I was like, you're right. Like it yeah, was just what reassuring. Were you, what would you someone. change it to? I know that's what I was thinking. I'm like, what would I change it to? No, you can't. It's my thing. Yeah. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. I don't know. We're, I, I, I don't know how I would handle it. You'd be not a blonde. I know. I yeah, we're like red, really... blonde, and blue, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> USA. <laughs> <laughs> I could see with like tips of some different color, maybe. To like a Gwen Stefani. Like, maybe for a the... little bit. Yeah. But you weren't thinking about like a color color, were you? Or, I was like... thinking about like, well, I was like, maybe. Because what are your options, really? Red, black, brown. Well, I was saying you weren't thinking of like I was thinking of like, of, like a, a natural color. Like yeah. A, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh. Red, my hair just isn't, uh, you know, you're our, you already kind of yeah. are red. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're the red. But also, I, it's just not, I, it's weird how, like, but it is like that color you really, mm-hmm. I mean, you change your hair color a lot, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's kind of like, that's that's part of her thing. What you've yeah. gotten used to. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm, I, I, they're all like unnatural colors. So it's all kind of, I change it a lot, but it's all kind of the same. You know yeah. what I mean? Like all crazy colors are all kind of like a, its own thing. What would so. you like? Yeah. What would you what's like i don't know <laughs> who what when where why what would you what i'm color? just trying to think of like the big elements of yourself that you can change mm-hmm. you know it'd be so funny to just start dressing as like a whole other like type of person or yeah. something oh yeah you know if i had money i would um get a lot of temporary tattoos made that i could like put, take on and off oh be yeah a huge, i like want tattoos really bad but i don't actually want permanent tattoos well have mm-hmm. you seen the new ones mm-mm Actually, the um, they have these tattoos. Called, I think they're called t- temporary. I don't know. I'll Google it yeah, for you. Yeah. I, th- I want to say they're called temporary ink or something. But they look really real. Really, and they're awesome. Like there's some really pretty Ooh. ones, and they last. I think for a week or two. Ooh, yeah. I would see. I'd be into that. That's cool. Yeah, I'd really be into that because like, I want. I I really like. There are some like I don't momentary know, I, ink. Ooh, okay, that's what it's cool. Yeah. I want to check that out. Yeah, like there are days that I like. I'm like, oh man, I like really would like tattoos right now, but I don't want them every day. Right. But don't you think yeah. that like the tattoo people would be like dicks about that? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit Who, what they think. Yeah, I know. I'm just yeah. saying. Like, I know it's a big part of you know. Obviously, I mean, it's a culture thing. I would say thing. that my tattoo, like, I do think that for me, part of mm-hmm. what I like about my tattoo is the permanency of it. Yeah, like I think it's like, mm-hmm. oh, this is like a charm that I yeah. always want to have with me. I mean, I guess like there are some that I there there is like one that I actually do want to get like a permanent tattoo of. It's like a tribute thing, but like, um, I don't know. Like I, I mean, I yeah, they could. Like, why they should be? They can be used as accessories. Like yeah, why not? For why sure. not like, some you know? shirts would just look cute with a tattoo. Yeah, yeah. and okay. you don't want that. Like okay, that's the thing. You're not gonna get a tattoo, or mm-hmm. I I I'm of the mindset that you shouldn't get a tattoo because you think it looks cute. Like it yeah, should yeah, be yeah. something that means something to you. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So that is mm-hmm. kind of a good option for when yeah. just like yeah, this would just look cute with a tattoo. Yeah. Well, I remember I used to do for like dances. I used to instead of wearing jewelry, I would get like a cool temporary tattoo that I would wear like in place of a jewel or something because mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of cool oh that is like cool mix it up yeah 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 i fun. feel like that'll probably become very like normal as yeah. those like those mm-hmm. <laughs> as, as, as technology improves i've been yeah. reading some sci-fi story re- like a year or two ago about like and it was in the future and like you could change your eye color like but that was the big thing it's like you could change like your eyes that was like the, the well that's all gonna happen story. it's like the i think i've talked about this before but um uh there's in total recall the receptionist she has yeah. like her nails and she has a little 
whatever what is it called compact what is it called when they have all the choices in it i think it's a compact yeah whatever it is yeah, yeah, yeah. all the colors in there and mm-hmm. she just taps one color and then taps her nails and they all change oh, i know and i was like that's, that's so like, gonna happen that's what i want yeah yeah that's gonna happen with Fuck everything hoverboard i want that yeah that would be amazing. right seriously <laughs> yes all that but i think that's gonna happen for everything like for your eyes and your hair and so you know amazing. well i, I mean something and change the color of my hair this all goes back to awesome. we're gonna turn into hard drives yeah we're yeah. gonna be like holograms yeah it's all good yeah yeah and you, you can tight. just change everything i mean we probably won't have to have plastic surgery because we'll just do hologram surgery i yeah. think holograms cool. is so in our future everyone will just project themselves oh I, yeah like yeah. my friend that lives in new york i'll just be able to be like hey do you want to just go project ourselves and go have coffee mm-hmm. in paris mm-hmm. And we'll just go be in a virtual reality yeah. cafe in Paris. Either that or I think before <laughs> that will be us, you actually physically walking around, but we have a hologram attached to you. Attached so that you does change different. your eye color or like that yeah. projects oh. I, you had different hair on you and stuff that like projects that. projects like an aura around you. I yeah. Like, oh, fuck. I think that'll totally happen. I wonder if that would help or hurt body issues. Help. I well, it depends because if it, it's like if it could change if it changes your body, what it, your body looks like, I don't, you know, I yeah, don't know. But then, like, are you, t- are people gonna like take care of themselves? Like, I mean, like, I don't no. know. Like, like that, <laughs> yes, but, like, that's I think they would take care of themselves more. You think? Yes, absolutely. No, they wouldn't because they don't. They're not. They can choose what they project, so they can just choose somebody who well, looks healthier. Exactly. I think that would make a shift from fitness being about what you look like to how you feel. So I think right. That oh, I see. People, yeah. Instead, I think what makes people get in this really vicious cycle yeah. with fitness stuff is that. They make it too much about their appearance. Whereas if you just started to realize that, oh, I just feel better when I exercise mm-hmm. and eat well. But I don't think a lot of people have the motivation to change that without the appearance part being part a huge part of it. Like if I like knew that I could just eat like shit and forever, I probably would. Like But what do you mean it, that you could without any physical like appearance consequences? Yeah. Really? Yes. I like I don't like eating healthy. I like eating crap. Like it's yeah. just yeah so i know i know that yeah, like I, that. I know that like in like mm-hmm. yes it would make me feel better but like when it comes down to the minute like i don't want to eat that So that's ultimately like what motivates you is yeah is how you look mm-hmm. that's also scary too because then it would also be like you could project whatever age you are but then it's like oh you're falling in love with somebody that's actually like an 80 year old man yeah like but 30. maybe that would be good i mean that might end things like gender issues and like yeah i mean yeah I mean, that would be that would be really. Well, that's kind of like the Internet now. That it's like, yeah, if you're talking to like someone online who says they're one thing, but there's something else mm-hmm. and then you meet them and they are Not. just projecting that they're that fake thing. I don't know. That's so weird. But then are they really if it's just their appearance, aren't they still the same person? I, I mean, know. you still get to have sex with a hologram, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, but you still... That's a that's a Black Mirror episode where like the person's holograph like glitches. Yeah, it shows it shows who they really are. That is a really good one. That's such a good idea. Oh my god! But you know what I mean? Like, if the hologram doesn't glitch, who cares what's under it? I mean, no, that's true. True. (laughs) Do you really care what's actually yeah what's actually happening there? Yeah. Oh man. That's like, yeah, you like show somebody your true self and they're like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even, there are some people in my sexual past who would definitely have horrible inner holograms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your inner hologram look like? That would be funny if, if that's what happened. Everyone started looking like what they, who they really are. Yeah. Like, so like horrible people like looked like fucking like that monsters. That would yeah. be cool. Like your your soul actually determines your your outer appearance. Whoa. I would, I would love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boy is a monster. <laughs> it's a great Lady Gaga song. <laughs> wow, that was a that got heady. Yeah, really. really. Merry Christmas, you guys. Heady Do you think Santa would make Lynch. himself skinnier with Santa's hologram? Hell no. No, he's he's jolly. But yeah. see, yeah, like he eats like shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he just eats cookies and milk. Yeah. Santa definitely has diabetes. Right? I don't know, but I think if you if you <laughs> yeah. feel better when you're eating cookies and milk, you should eat cookies and milk. Yeah. Right? No, I agree. Yeah. But like yeah, I can't do that all the time because well, yeah. And yeah. you're too fat. So, well, yeah, I mean, it's hard, like sugar's a fucking drug. Like yeah. like we were saying, like sugar is addictive and it's like a shitty drug and like yeah but that's what i mean like that that means you don't actually feel better when you're eating sugar like no no you definitely i i don't like i don't physically feel (laughs) 
feel great. I I don't know. I don't. It just depends. But I do like yeah. eating bad food. Like I, I enjoy it. I don't think that I have. Maybe it's because of all the other shit I put in my body. But mm-hmm. I don't feel a big difference when I eat a lot of sugar and when I don't. Like I know a lot of people describe like mood swings mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Oh, I for sure. Yeah, I can I feel can. it like immediately. Really? Yeah. Not even mood swing wise, but just physically. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm, I'm sure it is affecting me. I'm just not. It's not something that I'm like aware of like mm-hmm. how sugar affects me well yeah yeah i don't know that's all yeah it's a vicious cycle <laughs> um what do you guys want santa to bring you this year yeah. I want <laughs> my aunt emailed me and like asked me for a list and i was just like oh, here's a bunch of boring stuff that i haven't bought for myself yet. <laughs> it's hard when someone Bummer. like that asks you that because you don't want to say like what you really want yeah which is like expensive so yeah. it's like i don't know <laughs> yeah i know i like fuzzy I was, socks i was like here's a couple of books that i want but like here's like the stuff that i really want like you're not gonna get like please don't get me this like mm-hmm. 200 hundred dollar backpack that i've been eyeing Ooh, <laughs> like, 200 hundred dollar backpack sounds good yeah yeah i, like I want a biking backpack is it leather it's not leather it's like it's like a timbuktu bag that's like Ooh. got a lot of compartments like oh, I, want, shit. I want a good one for traveling and like biking around the city that's like a like a good yeah. one with good straps yeah, that sounds like a great, a yeah. great idea. About to be thirty-two. No more jam sports. That's my. It's <laughs> gonna be my. It's a good resolution. Yes. Yeah. Yep, that's gonna be mine. No more jam sports in twenty sixteen. <laughs> my resolution. Well, we're not talking about resolutions, but what you want? I'm gonna. Uh, okay, what? Do- I don't know. I can't think. Nothing jumps to mind immediately. Um, I just want a loving boyfriend, shelter. <laughs> I don't know Boy, what just happened to my voice. <laughs> What are you uh, joking um, for? I is someone outside? I mean, there's a guy across the street. Oh, okay. Um. Well, let's tell Barbara. I really have a fantasy. Um. I doubt this will happen. Mm-hmm. Are we too late checking out? I mean, did they give you a time? No. Are you sure it's not on the Airbnb? Because it's usually on the page. <laughs> this would be really hilarious. <laughs> is he <laughs> just? Is he? I mean, he just drove by like there. It's oh. usually on the Airbnb page. It tells you what time you're supposed to check out. They don't they don't tell you automatically. It just says check out, log up and put key in mail. But like, it doesn't say a time on here. Yeah. And send us a text that you've departed. Oh, OK. OK, we're fine. There might be a there might be a guest on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> look at the Airbnb. Look at the Airbnb page just to be sure. Because <laughs> I mean, they definitely just drove by. and I think looked at the house and left. So that might have been them. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I don't know guys. where to keep this part in here. But. Yeah, this is what happens when we do remote episodes. Yeah. And we're like, wait, are we supposed to be here still? Should okay, we go? So we've got house rules. Mm-hmm. And say check in, check out time anywhere? No. Your host has not provided a house manual. No. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the time on here. Hmm. All right. Yeah. I mean, if they knock on the door, then we can, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Shit, we got to get out of here. We got to go. What time is it? It's 2.15. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Like definitely have to check out right. time. Um, <laughs> where are we at? Episode was that wise? a segment? Uh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's end this. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. I'm Tess. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara, and this is Lenny. Oh, that was perfect. Lenny, Lenny, you're on the podcast. You're a natural now. podcaster. Great yeah. job, Laura Lenny Manuel. <laughs> Laura, Laura Lenny, Lenny Manuel. Manuel. <laughs> um, so we got to get out of here because we think they're. We think we might be getting kicked out. They're circling. All right, so let's do a lady <laughs> oh, yeah. problem. Yeah. Lady problem. The theme music? song. Lady. Lady problem. Hi, ladies. I'm about to begin the search for a new job and could use your help making my cover letter and resume noticeable, fun, and entertaining. Since you are hilarious, talented writers, I figured you'd be able to help me get my act together. Instead of looking for online jobs, what I'm planning to do is email all of my awesome contacts with a personal note basically saying, I'm looking for a new job. Tell me if you hear of anything. Then I'm going to list my best qualities, ideal jobs, and attach my resume. Can you give me some ideas on what to write in my letter and or resume that will make me stand out as cool, fun, unemployable person? Uh, I'm sorry, as a cool, fun, employable person. Mm -hmm. Here are some facts. I have 15 years of professional experience and I'm ready to advance. So I'll be looking for upper level management positions. 
I want to work for a cool organization that does good work. I currently work in higher education and want to make a lateral move upward in another field. My skill set is transferable and I'm confident I can work for other organizations, not just schools. What can I say that will make this clear? I want them to take me seriously and be compelled to help me find something new. Thank you. You're hired. You're hired. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I think you're, that was pretty clear. Like you just, well, I think she just wants yourself. tips of like how, what's something like, how do you get someone's attention and look confident and competent? Like, how do you come off? It is kind of hard to finesse that in like a, yeah. In like a email where you're kind of saying, Hey, keep me in mind for jobs. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, it sounds like she has a lot of natural, like, writing ability, so it's mm -hmm. not, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would just, uh. <laughs> Kitty, Lenny. Very good, very good point, Lenny. <laughs> Does she, is, is she in a current job right now? She is currently working right now. And yeah, she's just in higher education. Yeah, and she's looking for, to move, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would just send out a thing that's like, you know, hey, well, I, I wanted to, maybe it's like a almost like a newsletter type thing of just like, Hey, this is what's going on with me. This is what I'm interested in or in, in moving to like, I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I think the first thing is definitely putting something in the subject line. That's going to make someone open that email. Yeah. Cause if you're emailing busy people, you always want to think about like, okay, yes, this is what they're not going to open every email. So what can you put that? Well, so I put in like, this is your brother, Derek. Mm -hmm. I'm dying. Found yeah. out their brother's name. Very good advice. Barbara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to increase the size of your staff? Like, make it all sound. <laughs> Me has opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So make it all. Make it all like uh, a dick pill. Dick pills. Yeah, make it sound like dick pills. And at least. Um. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, that is true. I I don't know. I, I guess if you're sending it to random there are people, people that she knows. People that she knows. I mean, if it's people, they you, they're obviously going to open the email. So I'm not really worried about them not opening it. I don't know. It. Like, if it's someone really busy, I think you still want to. I mean, obviously it's important, but I don't think they're going to ignore it, you know? Yeah, yeah that's true. They're going to read it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just like ketchup and a, uh, you know. Ketchup slash business inquiry for you. Whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just like, sh yeah. Make it like this is everything that's about to happen. And then just, you know, ask them a question or two. Just see how they're doing. Like a line of personal stuff and then kind of get into like, hey, I'm actually like looking, you know, if you see of anything I, and compliment them on whatever it is that they do oh that's good people yeah. love like especially if you're asking for something like because you're so yeah smart yeah about yeah, these kind yeah. Of tell them why you're asking them. yeah yeah i think also yeah it's a good idea to say like if you know hey i'd love your to keep me in mind like let me know if you want to you know get coffee or something t and we can talk about it in person soon Be getting in in person thing is really good i think for keeping I think yes. that's good too. You and the thoughts of people when stuff comes up. And then it gives you an opportunity to follow up and say, hey, could we get that cup of coffee? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It gives you a chance to follow up, not just being like, hey, any jobs yet? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But good luck. You, you're very, uh, I know you, but yeah, you're very, <laughs> <laughs> you're an amazing person you. and any company would be lucky to have you. Yeah. Lenny, what do you say? Let's see if you can hear her purring. Oh, Lenny. Aww. She's so cute. All right. We're going to go kidnap this cat. We'll see you guys. Oh, we're dropping our uh, special Christmas. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our, our Christmas album comes out on Christmas Day. Yeah, enjoy it. Um, hey, if you want to get us a Christmas present, why don't you leave us some reviews on iTunes? Oh, yeah. That would leave us awesome. some reviews on iTunes or get your friend a late Christmas present and go buy some of our T-shirts. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you have stuff. friends who are listeners, do that. Uh, we truly love you guys. We hope you have a wonderful holiday. Happy belated Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. um, Merry Christmas. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Yep. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Lenny. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. 
Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.